Productized Podcast. I am Brian Castle. Thank you for tuning back in. Yes, this podcast is coming back here in 2020. I thought I would drop an episode here on the feed because I haven't done one in, I don't know, over a year. (laughs) So yeah, what's happening on this podcast? What can you expect in the weeks and months ahead? I've got a lot in store for you. So first off the bat, I just want to let you know that new episodes of the Productized Podcast, full episodes, if you will, these will be dropping every Wednesday, starting with next Wednesday. Well, if all goes according to plan, that is. (laughs) So April, what is it? What's it going to be? April 29th, 2020 is when the first full episode of this year will be coming coming out. Of course, it's, it's not the very first episode of this podcast. You can go back and check out all 73 of, of the past interviews that I've done. It's funny that I still get comments and, and good reviews on those episodes, even though I haven't come out with new stuff in well over a year, I think almost two years maybe. But that's all changing this year. You know, why, why is this coming back? Well, I mean, 2020 with this crazy global pandemic and everything, everybody's at home. You know, the first thing that came to my mind is is that community matters more than ever, right? Especially online community, connecting with other people who are, you know, doing the same thing that you're doing, kind of going down the same path that you've been on, that you're going on. And when I think about online community, podcasts to me have always been the, the best entry point for for all the communities that I know of. I mean, if I think about the communities that I'm a part of, literally all of my friends on the internet, the way that I initially discovered them and connected with them is by listening to podcasts. And through that, I, I took a few additional steps to follow certain people that I heard interviewed on podcasts. I would follow the hosts of podcasts. I'd find out about conferences and things that they run and communities that, that they run. And that's how I, I initially, you know, connected with so many really amazing and, and inspiring people. And so, you know, that was the first thing that came to mind this year as, as this uh, global pandemic started, started coming around. Like, how can I, I don't know, reach out to more people, especially more, more people that I tend to connect with, which are folks in client services, um, whether you're a freelancer, consultant, agency, software person, SaaS. If you're doing client services of any kind and you're trying to scale it up, of course, I've been talking about the productized service model forever. And that seems to resonate quite a bit with with folks. And so I I just want to do more to connect with more people like that. And more importantly, to connect more of them with each other, connect you with more people like you and like me, you know, folks who are scaling client services, even in in this kind of uh, climate, in in this kind of year, you know. And so to promote this community of, of folks in client services and people who are scaling with productized services, I want to do this in two specific ways. So, so one, if you are a member of, of my private productized community, you know, and, and there we have a private Slack room and we have a, a private forum for members only, anytime you can go in there and drop questions or ask for feedback on anything that you're working on, it's completely private and members only. And there's some really great people in there. And I'm in there every day. So that's the best place to to ask me anything, but then also get input from other people who are working on the same kinds of things. But if you're not a member of, of that uh, community, that that's great too. I want to kind of um, somehow answer questions from, from other folks in, in the audience. And so the best way to do that is to reply to any of the email newsletters that I send. I, I send them roughly every week with new content and things. And if you reply to any of those with a question, about business or about productized services, or even if it's about software, I've, I've been learning to code if, if you've been following my stuff over the last year or two, anything that, that you think I, I could give input on, send me that in a question over email. And I read every single one and I, and I jot down the best questions, especially the ones that I think I have something to, to talk about. And I'm starting to answer those over on my YouTube channel. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in, in just a minute here. But that's also something that I'm trying to do more of this year is just answer more questions on video. And, and I've been investing in video a little bit here in my home office because I'm kind of stuck in my home office right now, just like everybody else. So productize in general, the, this podcast, but everything that I'm doing around productized services, that, that's all new this year. If you Check out the brand new website. I just uh, gave it a a pretty big design refresh. The branding of Productize is all refreshed and updated. You could check that out at productizeandscale.com. And what you might notice is that I have linked the visual branding of Productize and Scale with 
the branding for my other product, Process Kit. That's at processkit.com. And these are two different products. You know, Process Kit is a software tool for teams. It's it's like a process-driven project management tool, but they're both aimed at people in client services and especially those who are scaling up with a team and they need to become more process oriented. They need to really dial in their systems and their operation. And so that those are the kinds of things that I talk about with, with the community on the productized side of things. And then of course, Process Kit is the tool that, that enables that. And so I wanted to bring the visual branding of, of these two properties, if you will, a little bit closer together. Now they share the same colors, the, the icons are somewhat similar and uh, same fonts and everything. Cause I'm a designer and I'm just a perfectionist <laughs> when, when it comes to making things kind of kind of pixel perfect. They're, they're never quite good enough though. That's the thing when, when you design things, I guess. So, you know, in addition to this podcast, I'm gonna get more into what to expect here on this feed in just a minute. But over on Productize and Scale, you can also expect a bunch of new blog content that's on the way. I'm, I'm writing a bunch and I've been drafting and outlining a lot of new ideas for new topics. And, and, and I'm calling them in-depth guides. You know, they're, I feel like they're, they're gonna become a little bit more than just a short blog post. And I'm actually working with uh, some of the, the people from my audience ops team. We, you know, if you're not familiar with audience apps, we do blog content as a service. And so uh, I'm working with uh, one of the writers over there to kind of collaborate and she'll be kind of pulling out a lot of the, the nuggets and ideas out of my head. And we're, we'll be talking through the, these concepts and then she'll help to develop some of the written content over on Productize and Scale. Now here on the Productize podcast, what can you expect? Well, if, you, if you've listened to any of the 73 first batch of episodes, this will still very much be an interview show. That, that will be the main event of, of every episode here will be my interviews with other business owners who I think are just doing really interesting things. If you're familiar with the way that I interview people, you know that I like to get into the weeds, you know, talk about process, talk about how their business actually operates behind the scenes things that might be kind of boring to most most of the world, but I think to people like us who, who think in terms of systems and how can we scale and make a client service business more repeatable, I think that's kind of interesting. At least it's interesting to me. And, and frankly, I, I'm only interested in interviewing people who are doing things in an interesting new way, especially if it enables them to double or triple or, or 10x their business, treat it more like a business rather than like an hourly freelance gig. That, that's really what, what I'm all about. I've been able to make that transition through the years through my businesses. And I, and I love to see that happening in the people that, that I interview, especially in cases where they've grown their business, you know, multiple times beyond, beyond anything that I've been able to build myself. And so, of course, you'll, you'll hear me kind of selfishly picking their brains to try to get some insights and, and ideas and inspiration that I can take into uh, into my work over here. And, and my hope is that if, if you're tuning in and listening, maybe you can do the same. So the people that I'm interviewing, the people that I have booked here in uh, April and May and June and, and the rest of this year, they're people like you and me. Primarily, I'm looking for people who are running productized service businesses. Maybe they call them productized services, or maybe they don't, but at least I, I see that their business is, is scaling in some way or, or, or offering a service in, in a different way than, than I've seen normally offered by consultants. So that's, that's first and foremost. But, you know, occasionally you'll, you'll still hear exceptions where I'm talking to perhaps a software business owner or, or, or someone else who I think is just doing something interesting. For, on the SaaS side of things, software as a service, I really love the, the model of software with a service. It's, it's actually something that I'm doing now with a service attached to my process kit software. So, so I'll be looking out for, for software SaaS founders who are also offering client services or like concierge onboarding services and things like that. I, I think that's a really interesting space. But yeah, I mean, you know, it, there are interesting insights that you can pull out from just about anyone. And so where am I going to, to find guests? This was actually a big question on my mind in the last few months as I was planning this, this revival of the Productize podcast, because, you know, there's always a handful of people that I know that in, in my immediate orbit that I can invite onto the show and I already follow them or I'm aware of them. But if I want to keep this podcast going through the rest of this year, which I absolutely do, and I'm committing to that, you know, I'm going to need a steady flow of 
good quality, well-researched guests to come on the show. And so where am I finding them, right? Well, first and foremost, I'm looking to that productized community and any members in there, in the Slack, in the forum, anybody who happens to be posting updates showing that they are making some progress in some meaningful way and doing things in an interesting way, well, they, they can expect an invite from me to, to come on the podcast. And if you're, you are a member and if you're listening and you think you, you would love to share your story and, and kind of really dig into it with me on the podcast, by all means, shoot me a DM in the Slack uh, channel in our productized community. And, and yeah, let's, let's check it out and, and see if you'd make a good fit on the show. And, you know, by making meaningful progress, I don't necessarily mean doing a, a million in revenue or even 100K in revenue. If you've just, you know, signed your, your very first clients and you're starting to see some initial traction with your, with your business, that can be an interesting story too. I mean, generally we're looking for, for folks who've, who've booked at least 10,000 in, in revenue or, or in many cases, much more than that. But even if you're in the very first couple of weeks or a couple of months in, in your productized services businesses, and, and I have seen you know, businesses reach these kinds of levels within just a couple of weeks, it's certainly possible. So if, if you're in that boat, by all means, I wanna hear from you because maybe we can feature your story here on the show. Now, that's obviously not the only place where we'll be finding guests. Sometimes I connect with folks that I know from other communities. Sometimes we're just inviting other people that, that we find elsewhere, whether they were interviewed on another podcast or they've made some news in some way or, or however we come across them. We're, we're just kind of on the lookout now. So what else? I want to talk a little bit about my YouTube channel. Now, if you've been tuning in, if, if you've subscribed over the last few months, you might have seen me post a lot of stuff. I call it Watch Me Work where I've been sharing videos, sharing my screen of literally what I'm working on, like whether it's designing something or, or coding something. And that's been great. Maybe I'll still uh, do some of those every now and again. But what I'm now starting to do are these short, like five to 10 minute videos where I'm answering reader questions. Uh, I just picked up a new video camera. I'm, I'm setting up some lighting, trying to make it all professional <laughs> here in my home office. I frankly don't know what I'm doing when it comes to video, but but I'm trying. I'm trying to up the uh, the production value on these videos. But the best thing that I can talk about are answers to to questions. So if you're wondering about anything, if there's a certain topic or thing that you'd like to hear my thoughts on, maybe it could make for a good question for me to answer there. I'll be releasing those on my YouTube channel first and foremost. So if you're subscribed there, then you'll you'll see those first. But what I'm also planning on doing pulling out the audio from those videos and I'll be featuring some of those audio clips in the beginning of these podcast episodes on productized podcasts. So that'll be something new. I don't think that I'll do it on every single show. I, I probably won't start doing it for another couple of weeks because frankly, I'm still getting the video stuff together right now, but that's something that I want to do. So basically the structure of the, of the podcast here will be, you know, a quick introduction. Then we're going to cut to answering a question then I'll do the uh, intro to the guest and then the rest of the episode, the bulk of the episode will be my, my conversation with the guest. Another thing, another new idea that I would love to do as soon as, as I can are live sessions. Again, you know, trying to promote community online while we're all kind of stuck in, in quarantine mode in our, in our homes and, and home offices. What I would love to do here is basically live events. I'm thinking roughly like once a month where I'll go live and, it'll, and there'll be a live chat, but I'm also going to invite maybe two recent guests from the podcast. So after their episodes have aired, in the weeks after that, I'll, I'll invite them to join me on a live session where people can follow up. So after they've heard them on the podcast, you can submit your questions and, and me and, and those guests together will, will hang out for, I don't know, an hour or so. We'll go live on like a Zoom call or something like that, and we'll we'll just bat around some questions. I, I think that could be kind of cool. And I think at this point that will be freely available to to anyone, not just productized members only, but you know maybe maybe productized members will get you know extra access or 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 they'll be the ones who can submit the first questions, something like that. I'm still still brainstorming there. I think these live sessions will probably start sometime around June after we've published some of the first episodes so I can invite those guests back on for, for the live sessions. So finally, to wrap up here, and then I will stop yapping, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, about my team because I am investing in this side of my business this year, the whole productize side of things. Um, uh, will King is will, will kind of be what I'm thinking of like sort of like a producer role for this 
for this uh, podcast. He's helping with some of that guest research and guest recruiting. He'll also be uh, writing up some of the show notes for these episodes. And, uh, and, and I think he'll, he'll be, you know, chiming in in the community as well. So hopefully you'll get to know Will and maybe he'll come on uh, an episode at, at some point, you know, in between some guest episodes and he and I will uh, will hash out some topic and, and we'll go back and forth. I know Will has been working on a productized service business of his own. So, so that should be interesting. And then there's John Luckenbaugh. He's the uh, audio editor who is doing all of the audio production on, on this show. Um, he's actually an audio editor that has been part of the Audience Ops team where we do some done-for-you podcast services for, for clients over there as well. So it's been cool to, to get him involved on this side of things as well. And I will be hiring a video editor shortly. I don't know who it is yet. I'm actually going through applications right now through Upwork. And the idea is that I'll be recording these videos, the, the question and answer videos here in my home office, and then I can drop that stuff from my camera into Dropbox, and the video editor will make it look like a professional video. So that's what my team and operation looks like, and, and just like anything else that I do, I try to build it into a system and a process so that every week, all I need to do is show up on the mic and do the interview. I'll do a little bit of prep beforehand, but Will is going to be helping me with that as well. And same thing with the videos, I'll do some prep, I'll record them, but then I'll drop them in Dropbox and, and then my team handles all the other mechanics of getting this stuff out the door. And I'm doing this more so than I've done in the past. I mean, on the productized stuff, it's been mostly me solo doing everything, but now I'm really starting to invest in, in the team and, um, and really make this an operation to, to up the quality a little bit, up the consistency. And, and really keep this going through the rest of 2020. And I hope that you enjoy it. And of course, if you have any feedback or questions or requests for the show, suggestions, by all means, this is something that I wanna make a, a really great thing. And if you find value from it, um, I would appreciate if you if you pass it along. Tell somebody about it. Give it a five-star rating in, in iTunes. That always helps. And uh, I will see you on the next episode of Productize Podcast. It'll be dropping on Wednesday morning, April 29th. Thanks for tuning in.